Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am John O'Canute. And just listening to the stream real quick to make sure that this all works out. Let's go ahead and calm down the music a little bit. All right, my audio is there. So hopefully you're doing well. Thanks for stopping on by. Whenever you can stop on by, always appreciate that. And we will, why is the music still playing? Okay, there we go. Uh, hopefully you are doing well. I am running a new rig here. I can now close vMix for the most part because I don't need to do that. Um, YouTube still won't let me actually stream on, or I'm sorry, Facebook won't let me stream onto Facebook for some reason. I was able to for a while, but now uh, apparently I'm not able to. So I've got my uh, kind of some rig announcements, but also I want to talk about NAB because it is underway and I'm not there and I'm really annoyed by that. And so I definitely need to uh, get on the same page about what I'm excited about. I want to say some things I'm really happy to see. Uh, and then I want to talk about some like things I'm really annoyed by, uh, one in particular, but maybe a couple will come up during uh, that conversation. And then, uh, and some other announcements that have happened that are kind of not really like product related, but uh, cool things that are I'm anxious to see more about. And then uh, we'll kind of go from there. If you have things that you're excited about, I have vMix Socials up and running. And so drop something in the comments. Let me know that you're there. But also, uh, thank you so much for coming along for that ride. Uh, let me know what you're super excited about. There's a good chance maybe I don't know anything about it. And so it would be great for you to tell me what you're excited about at NAB. Because I would always like to know uh, what's happening. Now, I'm getting uh, text messages for some reason here on my phone. Um, do 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 uh, let's go. All right, so back it up here. Okay, so that's all good. I'll let the uh, I'll check in on the the stream here in a few more minutes. But uh, I do want to bring up a couple of websites and uh, things that I'm excited about when NAB kind of went live. So it started yesterday, and. I was kind of hanging out online, waiting to see what was going to be announced, waiting to see what was going to hit social media, and a couple things that did happen. So I'll give a little first and foremost a shout out to my my previous employer, Bird Dog, um, wearing the the 2019 NAB uh, Venn diagram shirt, which is a, a huge you know throwback to my first NAB show long ago. And uh, not that long ago, but long ago enough. Uh, yeah, so that was, when I say 2019, that can't be right. Is that right? Was that when I went? Anyway, I, wow, I'm just having a total, I'm totally blanking here for some reason. I thought it was earlier than that. But anyways, this was the first shirt I was given by uh, an, a, a former owner of the company, Amon. Shout out to Amon. First announcement is he just started at Atmos, and that was one of their announcements at NAB, it appears. So congratulations, Eamon. Super happy for you, man. Uh, do good things over there at Atmos. Uh, kind of a pseudo, not really competitor to uh, to Bird Dog, but, you know, also kind of is. So uh, best of luck to you over there, man, and uh, looking forward to great things. I did see some of Atmos's announcements, in particular the dragon or something like that. So if we at Atmos dragon, if we go to the Atmos website, which that's interesting, I type in Atmos dragon and nothing really comes up. Atmos um, production stuff. Not Dolby Atmos. Uh, wow. They are not... Hmm, that's interesting. Very interesting. Uh, all right. Well, I need to go back to LinkedIn, which unfortunately means I have to open Chrome because... Boo um, okay, so... Full disclosure, yesterday I was cruising Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn looking for NAB announcements, things that were going to be coming out, 
and that should be like super exciting. So Atmos, one of their major announcements was that Eamon was joining the company. And so he's at NAB uh, as of right now. They've made a bunch of posts, which good on them for utilizing social media during this major event, NAB 2024. That is uh, pretty exciting to see. Uh, come on now, where are we here? I need to see all posts. All right, here we go. It, man, it's taken, taken my um, computer a long time. So let's uh, let's cut over to my desktop here, and I'm just gonna show you Eamon's uh, mugshot here. Atmos is, is excited to announce that effective immediately, Eamon Drew has joined as Chief Business Development Officer. Will be joining us at NAB. He comes to Atmos with 25 years of experience. He's a veteran uh, with 25 years experience developing and executing worldwide strategies. Really cool that he is um, on board over there. As you all know, he made an exit from Bird Dog a little while ago. And so as you may or may not know, he made an exit from Bird Dog a little while ago and now he lands over at Atmos. And so that's great news to see Eamon uh, there. And also he is posting uh, while he's at NAB. And so if we look up Eamon's, man, my, uh, my internet is just chugging along here today for some reason. So if we check out Eamon's posts, he did, um, where are his posts here? I do not like the way LinkedIn is organized or not. Oh, there it is. So a huge first day at NAB, someone crawled up and took this picture at the Atmos booth. Really cool. Uh, you can see Sennheiser, Canon. Of course, Canon takes up such a huge part of uh, the hall. Rode has a big spot, which I'm really jelly. I don't get to go and see that one. Uh, now, you know, when I was at NAB, I didn't necessarily get to go and like tour around at a lot of the booths. My second year in 2022, I did actually get to go to some booths, but not to see anything, <laughs> but to do support. <laughs> for product cameras so i was head of support and they were like hey that camera's not working the it was p4k's honestly that p4k over there isn't working right head on over there and get it working and it was like why isn't it working right we shipped them all my guys personally we'll say fixed and got all those cameras up and running and then people got their hands on them and broke them so anyways amen is over there doing his thing and uh it's really cool to see him uh, with Atmos, congratulations, buddy. All the best over there. Now, uh, I, I will say Bird Dog has made some announcements, right? And so we will, let's just go over those right now. And I just want to check on this real quick. Yeah. So they have announced two new lines of cameras. They have announced the Mackie and the X1 and X1 Ultra. So... Um, they took the Mackie and took some pictures. Oh, there's the X1. So brand new camera line for Bird Dog. And this comes on the heels of the exit from Boland, which is now common uh, information because it's up in the public sphere. If you don't know anything about that, just go to Reddit. There, It's all over. But uh, Bird Dog and Boland are no longer building cameras together. The big announcement at NAB this year is guess who is working with Boland? Marshall. Marshall has signed a contract with Boland, and so they are now making the, uh, we'll say, the Boland camera flavor. And so Boland moves over to Marshall and continues on, whereas Bird Dog is now working with a different company. And uh, this is their big announcement this year. Now, the promise was is that Bird Dog would no longer launch any products that are not ready to go to market when they launch. And, you know, they... They did this last year and said, we're six weeks out from anything that we say. Unfortunately, much of that did not come to fruition. And so now I think the, the tactic is to only announce things that are ready to go to market day of launch. And so that was kind of the latest thing that was posted on Reddit. That was kind of their new go to market strategy. Uh, great from what I can see. I did notice, unfortunately, and this is going to be a gripe and complaint, is 
I see the crew at Bird Dog, and I don't see a single support agent there. Uh, that is a big misstep. They have flown people from all over the world, but they didn't fly anybody out of Michigan that runs support. They didn't bring anybody from support. Big mistake um, because I cannot tell you how busy I was when I was at these shows. I didn't have a second to breathe. And support has been a major problem. Support of the products has been a major catalyst for Bird Dog. And I appreciate how the, hey, new camera line, we're, we're leaving those old problems in the dust. We're not going to have those issues anymore. Full disclosure, I've heard those comments before. And I would still like to see support people there as a way to give your customers a confidence behind your product line. And so a uh, gripe here is that I don't see any support people that were taken to NAB this year. Uh, their booth concept is very open, which is great. Uh, I like that. I like the way that the new products look. However, um, you know, Dan and Jamie don't have time for everyone that comes to the booth. And so you need more boots on the ground. I don't know where Phil is. If Phil did not come over for NAB or uh, what's going on there, but he is head of sales in Europe. And so if Phil's not there, that's a huge oversight. This is not a U.S. show. This is a global show. And so you need your team there who represent all sides of the world. And you need your team there who represent the engineering. Um, now, I I also see absent from this picture, Josh, who is now basically head of engineering. And so that's unfortunate. There's some key people here with a product launch that are not here. And I don't know what their story is. I don't know why. I have no inside knowledge of any of that anymore, okay? But I do see a misstep. I don't see any support. I don't see the head of engineering. I don't see head of Europe sales. All right? So I don't know what the strategy here is. I don't... It, it's not obvious what it is. That, unless there's some sort of hidden agenda. They have basically two and a half new products being launched because... The X1 and the X1 Ultra are basically the same camera phone, I can tell. And the um, the Mackie is kind of also an X1, but not, not a PTZ. It's just a box camera. Cool. I'm really happy to see that the products are being shown and are ready to go. That will be the that will be the telltale sign here for the success of NAB at Bird for Bird Dog is these products need to be in like going out today. Um, so cool. What I don't like again, and here's a gripe is three days ago, Saturday, these new products were announced and then it, the show went Sunday all day and only 12 hours ago, which was basically midnight Eastern standard time, the first social media post for bird dog was made on LinkedIn, which is where a massive amount of your partners, 17,000 of them, mind you, are following you. This is an afterthought, three pictures for a whole first day at NAB. Mind you, there has also been probably two or three days of setup at NAB. Nothing, nothing has, nothing has transpired. And so I'm a little bit miffed about that because what you 100% should be present in your social media channels all the time. All right. Uh, stuff should be going up hourly. Who else do I not see on this lineup, by the way? Anyone from marketing. Marketing's not even there. No one from support. No one from marketing. No one from engineering. There's a project manager in the list but you have three sales associates from, well, you have two from the U.S. market, one for formerly from the U.S. market, and I think one guy from Europe. What is going on here? <laughs> what on earth is going on here? Uh, shirts look nice. The shirts look nice. They don't have any design on the back. They're kind of just black with a little logo in the corner, but you know, it's nothing, it's not this, this was, this was like a cool, 
marketing scheme and it says bird dog on the back so keep that at least do that um truthfully i don't know what the conversations with like the board of directors has been about how little they have to spend on these shows before they start showing you know turnaround it's good looking team all these guys are really good dudes all right i've worked with them all uh for the most part and all solid all solid individuals but there are some faces here that are missing. I mean, full on faces that are missing. Where is support? Where is engineering? You know, where is Europe? The head of Europe, Phil. Phil should be there. I'm not too sure why he's not. He's probably got a good reason, but that uh, that stinks. And nobody from marketing. Nobody from marketing. So we could do away with two U.S. salesmen and bring somebody from support and somebody from marketing. And you have to bring... Now, Pav is there, okay? Pav is there, and he's a project manager. And so that's great. That's kind of engineering. Um, kind of. It's kind of engineering. He. That's why I'm like head of engineering. Okay, Josh doesn't necessarily need to be there because Pav is there. That's okay. But, um, you know, the head of the company is there, but he is very much so on the head of the company side of things and not necessarily on the engineering side of things like it was when we were brand new. So Dan is a very good executive. You know, Jamie is there. He's the head of sales. Okay, great. Um, but you're missing some key people at the biggest, at the biggest broadcasting at, at quite frankly, your biggest show of the year. You're missing people. And there's nobody there for marketing. So I don't know what is going on. Why? And then uh, here, just 12, 12 minutes ago? I can't be right. And then let's just refresh so we can see this again. Just a few minutes ago, we have some product posts. Let's see, 20 minutes ago, we have product posts of the Mackie. Uh, or oh, and the and the X one, the X one is here. So okay, uh, I wouldn't say like in years past we took like Alessandro, who used to be a part of the marketing team, and he would do marketing stuff on the floor. Now, here's the thing: you need a you when when we were working together. Uh, I, in 2022, Alessandro was there and I took, for example, my Rode microphone kit. He was using like a handheld thing that he was giving people. And I was like, no, 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 dude, just clip these on and snap these into your camera. And he did one interview and came back and was like, can I just keep these for the week? And I was like, yep, no problem. Like the, the issue was, is that they brought Alessandro, but they didn't give him a proper vision. And so it was like, here's what we want. Here's what we want you doing. Here are the benchmarks we want you hitting. And if they had given him that, he would have knocked it out of the park, guaranteed. Because that's the type of guy Alessandro is. He does everything with excellence. And quite frankly, a lot of this looks like Alessandro's work. All this marketing material it looks really clean, really nice. Um, so I'm happy about that. But he's not at the show. I don't see him there. And they posted a team picture. So like, great. But guys... You need this. You need this to be your biggest show ever, really, quite frankly, because of the bowl and stuff and because of the change of executives and the change of the company. And like, you just need this to be big. You need to be pumping out information about these new products every hour. Here's a new feature. Boom. Put that up there. Here's a new feature. Boom. Put that up there. Here's a new. These are working now. Here's a feature. Boom. Boom. Put them up there. Get it up there. You have a whole week to do this. It should be up there all the time. I don't know why it's not. I don't know what you're waiting for. What the sign is. Are you understaffed? Get like, I don't, I, I don't understand. I don't know what is going on here. So I'm excited about this new camera line for Bird Dog because I, I, I'm hoping it is when I was stepping away at the in January I was very hopeful that this camera line which was in development was going to be the 
solid footing to build the remainder of the fleet because they really needed a a proper answer to you know the x120 issues and the um the dwindling supply of bird dog cameras throughout our distributing chain i mean just again just go and look they were not shy on reddit five months ago about i don't know why i can't buy the pf120 anymore that was five months ago. That's been up for ages. All right? Ages. It's been up for ages. Uh, we can't pretend like the information is not out there. It is out there. If you want to know more about all of what's happened, it's out there. It's on Reddit. It's available for you to read. There are legal documents posted in California online that explain what's happening. I'm not going to go into it. I don't have really an opinion or a horse, quite frankly, in this fight right now. But I... I I see an opportunity missed here. This. Okay. These guys, great dudes. Amazing team members. Promise you. Every single one of them is going to do an amazing job at NAB. I promise you that. All right. Dan, most of all, by the way. I've, I have confidence in that, in that guy. Serious confidence. Really do. So much so I still wear my bird dog clothes. All right. Uh, I left on good terms. Dan is a great leader. But I don't see the obvious strategy here. And it's been basically two days plus multiple days of setup that these guys m more needed to be done by now for this to be a smashing success. NAB is not necessarily about the people that come to the booth. NAB is about exposure. And most of your audience for NAB is watching on here, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and they're do they're watching the live casts, okay? The the hundreds of thousands of people that can't afford to go or can't coordinate with their companies to go or are not in positions to go to NAB. It's about still allowing that information to come through to that audience at home. Now, if you get to be there, that's like next level. But it should not be the only level. In person at NAB is now no longer the thing, especially because if you watch people on um, LinkedIn, on YouTube that are reporting from NAB, the talk of the town this week is cloud services, cloud. Everything is, uh, is about being in the cloud. And I know Bird Dog has announced cloud 10.1. Okay, it was... On here or on their website, maybe? Where is it? X-Series, X-Series, X-Series. So lots of build up to the X-Series, but not anything on cloud? What's going on? I just saw it. I saw the announcement. Where is it? Anyways, they're, they're talking about cloud as well. And so there's a picture of Miley here. Yeah working with folks and he's yeah he's got workflow that's cloud stuff right there that's what that is man i just this needs to be more than this it needs to be more your your presence online needs to be more because there are so many people over here watching and I'm from the inside. I, I, I know what's being shown and I have a good idea about what's not being shown because I was in it for a very long time. So to have three pictures on your first day of NAB, to have three pictures and three product launches and two of them of people at the booth and one of them of products, guys, not what is going on? What is going on? This is your moment. This is it. This is time to do it. Anyway. So I'm excited for Bird Dog, but I'm a little bit disappointed too. Because I think there was an opportunity missed here. And uh, they could have capitalized on it much more intentionally. And... You know, I'm not I'm not a wizard when it comes to social media, but I've got a pretty good handle on 
um, what it means to have a social media strategy when you're going to market with something like this. I've seen it done really well and really poorly. And I just, this isn't terrible, but it's not impressive. It's not like intentional. And I really wish it was. Now, look, I get to be extra, extra hard on bird dog because I used to know how the sausage was made. And I knew these products in their infancy when they were coming, you know, when they were being designed, I did not get to play with them, see them do any sort of critical thinking about them. But in the past, when NAB came around, I was critical about other companies. Now I'm, I'm a little bit critical about bird dog just because there's more opportunity here. That's just being passed by in the name of being busy. And quite frankly, I think some key people were left out of the show. I don't know why you're not taking support people. Somebody explain it to me. It's not really a money thing. That's a cute crutch that like people fall back on, but it's not really a money thing. And there are people that want to come to this show and be reassured that the products are supported and that they will, they have confidence in buying them. That was a resounding, um, a resounding conversation that I had in 2019 when I was there and yeah, it's, it's, you know, time to be better, time to be better. Yes. 2019 is when I was there, when I got this shirt. And so the shirt is several years, five years old. Um, so the, the problem with these sorts of shows and the way that this is kind of being thought about, and if I'm just to, if I'm just to spitball it here, the, the, the way that this is being thought of is it's all about it's it's all about selling the product you know but when you don't bring a marketing person a person that's actively doing marketing information and getting it out there and his job is not to interact with customers at the booth his job is to run the cameras and to take the pictures and to do the like to to be the guy behind the interview and and get the conversations recorded because what's going to happen is after this show, you should have probably like two months of content to leak out over time about, you know, why these new announcement projects, these new cameras uh, that are announced are important and why they matter and why they're impressive. And so, yeah, that, that needs to happen pretty soon. Man, my camera looks really soft, does it not? That shot here, and it's probably because I'm not watching this in like full quality, but yikes. Let me look on my phone and see what that looks like. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. It's not amazing, but it's the, uh... all right. Well, anyway, so Bird Dog, best of luck to you guys. I hope that you have a great show. Those guys that are working the floor, they're, they're great dudes. They're amazing employees. Um, yeah. And hopefully this is a, this is a good pivotal year after the Boland Express has kind of left the, uh, we'll say left the station and you're able to reinvent yourselves a bit. Um, really hopeful that this is where you are, uh, where you're going to land and things are going to go well. Um, yeah. Yeah. So some other uh, announcements. So I was looking on, if you look up bird dog, actually. So if we did this, I did this the other day and I did this this morning, actually, and just search for bird dog posts about bird dog. So I was like, I want to hear, I want to see what the chatter is. I want to see what else everybody is saying. Um, and I'm just going to look at posts from the last 24 hours because that's really where uh, we want to see things. Okay, so we're in Vegas. That's great. That was about a half an hour ago. Um, this is not bird, do not camera bird dog related, but of course they're tagged because they're bird dogs. Holden made a post about this morning at 3 a.m. Or I'm sorry, three hours ago, which, um, you know, shows the new camera. This is more information about the cameras than what I'm getting from the bird dog posts on Instagram. And I'm sorry, on, uh, on LinkedIn. So 4K, HX3, okay, um, 
stunning image quality in NDI HX3. It looks like it's HX3 only. Is that right? Uh, which may be what the X is about. Flexibility, Wi-Fi. Okay, so we get we can connect over Wi-Fi, which is fine then for HX3 because we all know full NDI requires a proper connection. Uh, I don't know what this means. Thin network load. Thick footage. Uh, okay, so HX3, le way less load on your network. Ready when you are with a return feed out the HDMI. So there's a decoder in it. Okay. Teleprompting. Mm, okay. And a confidence monitor. So I don't hate that. Let's hook up built-in NDI decoder means it's ready when you're ready. Okay, and then we're back to the camera one. So, okay, so there's a little bit of information. Hey, this one I saw. Hey, NAB 2024, this is crazy. What's going on? So since I started working at New Media AV, which is a distributor for Bird Dog, uh, there have been so many, such cool launches. This year is going to be amazing. Black Magic Design is blowing everyone's mind that's the first thing out of our distributor's mouth black magic is blowing everyone's mind also teradex small hd bird dog aperture so honorable mentions here is the bird dog line small hd quantum 32 i don't know what that is i'll check that out but black magic is posting all of this stuff now as we know black magic went hard in the paint with uh 2110 so uh lamo but that's fine a lot of people are using 2110 I don't know anyone personally, but uh, a lot of people apparently are using 2110, so that's fine. Uh, but Blackmagic makes a bunch of announcements, and uh, we could pull them up, I guess, in a, in a new... Well, let's do that here. Let's go uh, Blackmagic Design, and let's just Google them, see what hits. All right, so their website after the ads is the first one to come up. And, okay, so we have a new Ursa camera, 12K camera <laughs> for 15 grand, which quite frankly is not really the end of the world. I did watch this guy's keynote, uh, Snooze Fest, but uh, hey, you know, to each his own, everybody chooses to present. He was basically like, and there's another thing. And he kept pulling things out from behind the desk and he kept piling them up on the desk, which was kind of funny. Um, okay, cool new uh, replay editor there's a lot of stuff ethernet switch i don't know why they're getting into this game i guess because they're going 2110 and so everybody wants like the the set it and forget it situation okay cool i hope that works well media player 10g um this is to capture um obviously what was it it's like for capture and playback so you can plug in any device, like an HDMI device, and then it converts it and you can send it into your production. That that turnkey solution is really what NDI lacks, quite frankly, is to plug in any device. On the device, you set the resolution and then you plug in HDMI to it, so a computer screen or Thunderbolt or whatever, and then it just uses that. It captures the screen or it does an extended desktop to which it, whichever you prefer. The NDI industry needs that now, uh, and, and a robust version needs that now if they're going to continue to be a capture device ecosystem. I'm not too sure why no one has done anything about that yet. Uh, 2110 converters. Okay. Again, I'm not really interested in 2110. Now, this I'm interested in, this audio monitor. I don't like that it's $1,300, but this is great for, for production use. Uh, so I, I'd be very interested in something like that, which is a uh, an audio meter. It has a huge audio meter on it, and you're able to see your output. I don't know what this girl is staring at, but that's weird. I don't know anyone who operates like this in a leather jacket in a venue like this. My Amazon devices are listening. It's weird. I'm going to turn them off. I don't like that. Okay, so um, machine metal device uh, design. I like that. I like the little 
screen that we have on it here. Can I see the back, please? Has this like speaker, which, okay, fine. Um, I don't know anybody who's in a control room that wants to listen to it on the device, but okay, cool. Where is the back? Okay, is this the back? Audio monitoring, analog, 12G in, 12G out, blah, 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 blah. Um, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> I love it just because you can you can put this and assign it, you know, to a channel and then can listen to what the feed is and see it live. We have a multi viewer running out of an ATEM Constellation ME2 and that works fine, but it doesn't really give you very precise metering. I would love to be able to see it on a device like this. I think that's a really cool idea. So very cool black magic that you uh, that you've got that the list goes on and on and on. So let's go back to their list because let's have a look see atem constellation 4k it's about time uh it's about time for that iteration to come around i would not be in the market for that just yet but uh excuse me but that's fine uh mountain share over your network media modules for ursa cinema cameras including a black magic cloud sync all right somebody tell me why that's cool black magic camera for your phone free download for your iphone okay let's uh let's have a look see and see what that's all about because why not so what's it called black magic black magic and i'm just gonna look this up in the app store i'm sure Sh then share cinematic recordings with davinci editors worldwide welcome looking up black magic this is called, it's literally just called Black Magic Camera. Um, all right. Don't mind if I do. And what's the deal with this? Can we, is this just for recording or what? I'm actually downloading it now. Allow access to these things. Yeah, yeah. Um, while using the app, please. Okay, save videos to your photo. Limited access, done, save, okay. Okay, so if I turn it sideways, okay, that's pretty cool. It is it is kind of set like a Blackmagic camera. Fascinating. How, um, okay. Okay, so I don't really want this auto. I want this to be set down here to like a certain white balance. Lenses. Oh, nice. You can change the lens on it. That's cool. I mean, this, this is pretty slick. Um, can I change this to a different frame rate? So one over 60. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, I would... Um, I would kind of, I you can't really see it, unfortunately. But anyways, if you have an iPhone, go ahead and download it. Hey, everybody, go ahead and download uh, the Blackmagic camera app and have a play with it. Let me know what you think. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's pretty slick. How I could use it, I don't know yet. Uh, it's using HVINC. 256 h256 which is fine i'm oh, sorry 265 which is fine um how do i can i only save it can i how do i send this places you know uh but yeah wow this is a really okay so what if i wanted to change it to the front facing camera how would i do that i wonder it has the option to re this is recording in 4k my goodness I mean, I'm not going to lie, guys. This is um, a very interesting idea. Maybe we should uh, investigate that more because it's kind of a, a neat idea that Blackmagic came out with an app that's free. All right. So they've got a lot of announcements, and I'm not going to lie it's pretty exciting. I mean, it's kind of, this is kind of the go to marketing that I was expecting from 
a company like this is that I wanted to see, I wanted to see like updates and, and specific made videos by the head of the company to share about features, whatever. I think they're doing that right. Uh, what is quantum 32? Is that like a monitor? I'm going to assume it is. Okay. Then bird dog's got this post. Now there's a lumbar. That's not bird dog. Okay. So here, NAB, Matthias, oh, I know of Matthias, I think. Uh, Ross, Blackmagic, Brainstorm, VizRT, NDI, TriCaster, BirdDog, Panasonic, VMix. All right, so, wow, look at this. Atmos booth is looking slick. Under glass, which usually means not for touchy. <laughs> That's usually what that means. Um... Okay, he mentions Bird Dog. There's a black magic camera under glass. Okay, but no pictures of Bird Dog stuff, which again is troublesome. NAB day one. Presentations. Da, 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 black magic. Oh, Bird Dog, why are you all the way at the bottom? Mm. All right. So cool. Those guys look super interested in being alive. All right, cool. Uh, Broadfield made a post 31 minutes ago about the new cameras. So cool. All right. Next thing I'm going to do here is I want to just look at the Mackie. Why is it ultra? Is there a Mackie normal? Mackie ultra. Make a killer image. All right. Uh, $1,300. Woo. Yikes. Okay. Introducing groundbreaking Mackie Ultra NDI HX3 camera. Um, okay. Compact yet mighty. All right, wait. How much is the X1? By now? Okay, the X, the X1. What? The X1 is a thousand dollars, but the Mackie is thirteen. What? Hang on. And then we're gonna open this separately and really screw my CPU usage here. All right, the X1 is a Sony CMOS sensor which is like the same ones that were in uh the p200 maybe similar ones full hd ultra hd okay 20 times optical cool 20 times optical on the x1 because this is like the wheelhouse like the thousand dollar camera this is like pez you know you buy these like pez um 1080p, 60, 5994, 50, 30, 2997, and 25 frames. I really hope that it does all of those. When you select 60, it does 60 and not 5994, right? Um, viewing angles, that's all fine. That's kind of like boilerplate. Effective pixels, 2.7 or 8 point, let's say 3. All right. That's a big that's a big difference in pixel size. NDI HX2, 3, RTSP and RTMPS. Oh, I'm sorry, RTMP and RTSP. Protocols are HX2 and HX3. Controller interface. Wait, what? 10100. Okay, 10100. Why are we still doing this? Stop. This is the only one that you should be doing. Don't do Visca. Don't do Visca anymore. What a pain. What a pain. What a pain. It's so, it's nobody gets it. Nobody understands this. Just do fine. Do Visca IP, do Sony Visca IP and do NDI. Get rid of this Visca <laughs> crap. What a waste. Waste of time. Support for QSIS scheduled. Okay, so not there yet. That's okay. You, it can be scheduled, but there needs to be a launch plan. 12 volts uh, PoE plus. So that's cool. 
Uh, I guess just PoE. Technically, it's 13 watts. And then, okay, it's not very heavy, which is good. Okay, so for a thousand bucks, you get, uh, you know, pretty much a standard HX camera. All right, now, here comes the Mackie Ultra, $1,300. $300 more than the thing that has moving gears in it, okay? The Ultra, 12 times zoom, whereas before we had a 20 time. Okay. It's 4K. 4K 60. It's 4K 60. Okay, it's 4K 60. When you say that out loud, and not 5994, 60. Now, engineers are going to tell you there's really no difference between 60 and 5994. It doesn't matter. It has to do it. If you put it on the website, it has to do it. So, 4K 60. Okay. Um, autofocus, manual, and TOF? I got to Google that? Are you really put, you put an acronym on here? I have to Google? All right. Uh, exposure, auto, shutter, iris, and manual. So, auto and manual are really the only ones that matter here. Backlit com com compensation, yes. Okay. Effective pixels, 8.4. So it's similar to the Ultra that had 8.2. And this one does 4K, but only 4K 30, mind you. It has one HDMI out... It has a gigabit Ethernet. It's PoE at 12 watts. HX2 and 3, so not full NDI. Control protocols again with the Visca. Seriously, just do Visca IP and NDI, guys. Know your market. Control interface. USB type C. Ooh, line in and line out and a built-in microphone. Who builds the microphone, I wonder? Um, UVC video out. And then it comes with an adapter and it comes with, hopefully, uh, and PoE, which is really like why, why you would get something like this. For $300 difference, though, you get 4K 30, you get 4K 60. And that's it. How much is the 1K Ultra or X, X1 Ultra? All right, here we go. It's $1,500. So, and, and the one, the X1 Ultra is only 4K 30, whereas the Mackie is 4K 60. You just can't move it, it's like a webcam. Is that what I'm seeing? Am I seeing that right? That it's a small like webcam that does 4K 60? I would love to see some like use cases here. Like, have you given these to people to use? Okay, here's I mean, that's that's slick. It's small. It reminds me of the old Logitech cameras that you... Or no. Uh, didn't Microsoft use... Oh, Apple used to have a cylinder. Um, the Apple uh, cylinder webcam. I used to own one. Apple cylinder webcam. Images. Yes. Here it is. Boom. This is what it reminds me of. <laughs> I used to have one of these. That's hilarious. You guys remember these? So great. Um, they were cool. I sold it, I think, to somebody. Because I didn't need it. And it was Firewire? Yeah, it was Firewire, I think. Uh, anyway, that's, that's kind of what it, it reminds me of now. 
Um, I was not really around at this point when this product was being developed. I had known something of it, but the, uh, the final concept was not finished. And I, you know, we had talked briefly about it. They didn't really consult support in terms of design ideas or or thoughts about it it was really just more of a we'll tell you what we're making next so i didn't really get to see much of the products being made when i was there now hopefully that's changed and they involve support a lot more because those are the guys that actually have to make it work in the world <laughs> so hey if anybody's taking notes uh involve bird dog support they would love to probably have more say in what the heck is actually going on here RS485, why? Why are you including these things, guys? Nobody cares about RS485. Uh, all right, whatever. It's, I don't, yeah, I, anyway. Interesting, interesting ideas. Interesting thought process when it comes to um, inventing products. But, you know... Bird Dog is going to have to do some reinvent reinventing of itself because the Bolin situation and whatever. And again, I'm not, I won't get into that, but you're welcome to look it up on Reddit. It's well documented on Reddit at this point. Also, Eamon's exit. Uh, I did read something kind on Reddit that somebody had posted on maybe it was Facebook or LinkedIn or something like that. And they just said, with Eamon gone and John leaving, I'm kind of concerned. And I, I, I thought, oh, that's nice that they think so highly of me because that was, uh, you know, he didn't have to say that, but also, uh, I, I left be, you know, on my own accord. I wasn't, you know, pushed out and I, I don't know all the details of Eamon's exit that wasn't necessarily shared with me. So, um, but I do know that they've had to leave their bowl and manufacturing and end up going with a different maker. And so that's why the brand new design now, one one feature that I think is really slick and everybody's kind of it's all been positive is the um, the little pad on the side of the camera that shows the QR code. I think that thing's really cool and apparently it's updating in real time. It does it instantly. So if that feature is real, uh, I hope everybody adopts that. I hope Bird Dog blazes the trail when it comes to that cool feature because that's a that's a pretty cool low power, you know, easy situation. My like a, a feature. My question with that is: Is it replaceable? Did you build it so that support could replace it? Uh, head of repairs, last I checked, was Brayton Boyd, and uh, can Brayton replace those little screens? And if you come back and say, "Ah, they'll never be need to be replaced," uh, hopefully not. But if they can't be replaced, you're going to be replacing cameras because it's a key feature on that camera. So, like I said, I wish that that support was when I was there, I wish support was more involved in uh, making the products and making sure that they're sustainable over long periods of time. I think that we had ample time to learn that lesson with the Bolin cameras. And so it'd be great if the next generation were uh, highly repairable because then that gives your customers a high level of confidence in how that's, you know, in, in buying the product and that they will be serviceable, even if they have to pay for repairs. Uh, that they can be serviced, which was always an issue with, especially like the P100, that camera kind of went out without any parts. And uh, it was tough to to figure out what to do with them when they broke. So who knows? Who knows what is next for the uh, the bird dog giants? Okay. Uh, anything else that you guys are excited about at NAB? I've talked about bird dog, talked about black magic. Those are my two camps that I live in right now. I talked about Atmos. And their uh, announcement of bringing Eamon, Eamon Drew from Bird Dog over on as one of their executives. And so that's super exciting. Congrats, Eamon. All the best to you there. Um, I have been watching Office Hours Global because nobody is doing any on the floor reporting that I can find. And so they run a show at 3 p.m. Eastern time every day during NAB. And they do a walk around of the show floors. And so hopefully they'll run into Bird Dog at some point. Uh I didn't, I realized after like the second or the first person, the first booth they interviewed, the guy like went, went hard on his sales pitch. And I was like, ah, yes, 
I don't miss this part of NAB. But I uh, that is what it's all about. It's about selling the product and making people realize that, uh, you know, w- the whole point in uh, in the products that are there. So I miss it for the community. I miss being at NAB for the people that you get to meet. It's always a blast. But uh, I don't miss all the salesy stuff because that was usually super annoying. So uh, good times, everybody. Thanks so much for stopping by. Now, I am going to do a live show tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Insta360 is making an announcement about their new camera. And I am in the market for a new 360 camera because I have the Insta360 Evo, which is a 360 180 camera. And I have been saving my pennies for an Insta360 one inch camera because the the performance on it is amazing. I think the videos are going to look amazing. The detail always looks really good on all the things that I see on uh, YouTube about that one inch camera. So I'm going to do a live show, a live watch party for that announcement tomorrow at uh, 9 a.m. So we'll kick it off at like 845 or something like that and get ready, make sure that we can hear the stream and all that. And then uh, I'm going to watch that live. So you can join me here if you'd like. So maybe we'll see you tomorrow. Take care of yourselves out there. It's always a blast to be with you and we will check in soon. Actually, we'll check in tomorrow morning at the Insta360 announcement, which, you know, I wish more companies were doing things like that. But uh, hey, we'll take what we can get and we'll uh, we'll watch it together if you want to hang out. So come on by and say hi tomorrow morning, uh, 9 a.m. Eastern time right here and we'll get it going. So take care of you guys and we'll see you next time. <laughs>